Well, if you live in the city of San Diego, your water rates could be going up. Even though San Diegans are doing a good job of saving water, the city council is considering raising water rates next year. The San Diego Public Utilities Department has proposed an almost 10% water rate hike next January with another 7% increase to follow in July. Now, in total, the plan is to raise rates by 40% over several years. So why the increase? Well, city leaders say they have to keep up on the increases from the wholesaler who brings water to San Diego. But not everyone on the council is really in favor of this idea. And here to talk more about it is a city councilman, Todd Gloria. All right, so we keep hearing about we're, we're using less water, but we're going to have to pay more. And this wholesale deal is part of it. But it also has to do with increasing and improving the infrastructure, right? That's right. It's, it's a combination of things. It's the increasing commodity cost. You know, it's becoming more finite. We're in a drought. That's problematic. Uh, it is the cost of recapitalizing, you know, the system. You see it across the city pipes being dug up and replaced. Um, and the list goes on. And there are a lot of drivers for this. But I think myself and actually every member of the city council has declined to endorse this concept. You know, this was put forward by the mayor's office. I have never in seven years of being on the city council seen a situation like this where no council member was willing to say, you know, I'm willing to push this forward. And so it remains to be seen what will happen in November when it will come forward for a final vote. Yeah, you can understand why customers feel like, for one, uh, I mean, they get a penalty for using too much water. They get a rate hike uh, if they don't use enough water. So, I mean, they feel like they're being gouged. Right. It's a punch in the gut, you know, and San Diegans have done an incredible job, you know, conserving well over the state mandated reduction levels. And that's a good thing in the context of the drought. But what we've come to find out is that's really bad news uh, for people's bottom lines. And this is in a context of stagnant wages, rising housing costs, rising utility costs, all these other things. And so it's just one more thing. And I think that's why you see folks like myself really reluctant to go along with this and asking tough questions. You know, I, I'm kind of taking this as there's got to be a better deal for San Diegans, right? You know, do we have to do this? It, does your reserve level have to be that high? Uh, what are other scenarios that you've gone through? Uh, you know, please justify this to me. There has to be some better. Okay, it's getting more expensive, understood, mm -hmm. but does it have to be 40 percent over the next number of years? And I don't know that that's necessarily mm -hmm. true. Interesting that uh, this is kind of coinciding with this new study that came out that shows that San Diego is one of the most uh, inhospitable cities in the country economically just to, 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 to live here. To make ends meet. To yeah. make ends meet. What about El Nino? What, what effect um, will this all play into these water rate hikes? Well, it's a great possible. question, and that's one of the questions I'm asking the mayor, is that we're talking about a multi-year increase, but we have information and data that's suggesting it's going to be a very wet winter. So before we do five years of increases, what if we just did two? What if we just did this year and next, and then wait and see? You know, if our reservoirs are filled up, then maybe this won't be necessary. Again, mm -hmm. asking the kinds of questions that hopefully will not result in San Diego's having to pay a whole lot more. And I would, if you would allow me, you know, this notice is going out into uh, the mailboxes of your viewers. And this is how the residents can fight back. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, looks like junk mail. And I'd understand if your viewers threw it away. Mm -hmm. But if you open it up, it has a petition that you can send to the city clerk's office yeah, you and, it, and right it will there. register your opposition. A majority of ratepayers doing that blocks the rate increase from happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but, but Todd, this all started because people were using, uh, because, of, because of the drought situation. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we're hearing that, hey, your rates are going to go up, you know, because we're using too little water. But what happens if, even if you have a minimal rate increase and it's only for two years like you talked about, is there not going to be a decrease at some point? I mean, is this all about infrastructure? Is that what it's really about? It's also a great question. You know, I think that there's seemingly nothing more certain than rate increases, right? And what we know is that as we try and move the city off of a dependence of water from up elsewhere in Northern California or off Colorado River, that's expensive too. You know, a driver for this rate increase is the desalinization plant. That's expensive. Water reuse will be expensive. And so as we try and wean ourselves off of this imported water, it doesn't necessarily mean that rates are going to go lower. And that's all the more reason for us to look at this with a whole lot of skepticism, ask a whole lot of tough questions, and try and drive the best bargain possible for ratepayers. All right, so there are two takeaways. This thing, it's a power of the people. Go yeah. ahead and show up at the hearing. And then the other thing, you're going to be voting in the next six weeks or so. It sounds like it, you're, you're not going to approve the current deal. Well, I, I would hope that we could find a better deal. You know, the, the staff has represented that the mayor has driven the best deal possible, but 40% over the next number of years, I think we can do better. I think it's the question of, like, do you pay sticker price or do you try and haggle? I'm going to haggle, and I'm doing that for my constituents who, as you mentioned, are struggling to make ends meet. All right. We'll be covering the meeting. Todd Gloria, council member. Thank you.